Hey everybody, I am going to be altering a cat food can. I did one of these uh, about a week or so ago for my channel members. It turned out totally different, um, but I had so much fun creating it. It was just pretty fast and little project to make uh, when I just wanted to make something simple um, and small. So I'm going to start off by embossing all of my metal embellishments uh, and my resin pieces. Well, I only have one little resin bug, um, but it, this I found has been really helpful when I want all of my embellishments to be stark white. I find that uh, painting them with the white gesso, it, it works. It just takes a, a lot longer. Um, and this way, everything is pretty white. And then I add a coat of gesso to them so that I am able to add um, like sprays and other paints and whatever else I want to um, put on them. So I coated all of them with the Versamark ink. And then I'm using the Ranger Super Fine White Embossing Powder. Um, and I did have a little trouble <laughs> trying to get some of these pieces because they're a little smaller and just wanted to blow around. Um, but I'm uh, melting the embossing powder. And it worked on all of them. I, I'm not like super picky about them being super, super white because again, I am going to add the gesso to them. Um, but just to give it a nice first coat of white. Um, all right, next I am going to add white gesso to the uh, cat food can. Um, and I had been asked by one of my channel members if the, it smells really bad and it honestly doesn't. I don't know if it's because of the type of food that we get, Cali or what, but this particular food does not smell very bad. Um, it is grain free. Um, and made actually it lo kind of kind of locally uh, in Las Vegas. Um, it's another little city, like Boulder City. It's kind of on the outskirts of Las Vegas. Uh, anyways, um, so I don't know if if that has anything to do with it, but um, they were some of them were saying that they're going to use tuna cans. So I thought that was a great idea as well. So just any type of little can um, would be great to alter. It's it's a lot of fun. So I'm now going to add a coat of gesso to all of my embellishments um, and like this little resin bug here. I love those little bugs, they're so cute. And there is a mold now that you can use, um, that you can get um, or make uh, little, these little bugs and some butterflies, although you do have to use resin um, or maybe let the uh, paper clay harden inside of the mold. I haven't tried that yet, um, but the paper clay, when I try to use it as I normally do, it doesn't work out. It just, um, the little feet come off and the little antennas come off, so um, just a little tip there. All right, so I put some foam. Um, I don't know where I got the foam. It's like packaging foam almost, probably from an electronic or something it looks like. Um, and I put that in underneath all of the embellishments so that all of the embellishments are raised and you could see all of them from the top. I didn't want this to be um, something that you had to like pick up and you know look inside of although that would be fun as well and then I just placed all of those embellishments on top of there and I didn't realize I was so zoomed in so I do apologize for that I was trying to do probably three or four projects at a time and I think this was the time when I had um I was coloring um a card like um stamped image on a card Okay, so I um, added gesso to that uh, mold piece there, and now I'm going to be adding some, uh, I don't know, this is like a rust, it's not rust paste, but it's kind of the same concept. It's like a really nice gritty colored paste, um, and I did add a bunch of color first and then I ended up not liking it. So I covered it up with uh, the paste 
And then now I'm going in with some Dragonfly Blue and I'm really liking this on top of that paste. And I don't know if you guys can hear or not, but I am watching my niece's uh, guinea pig and it's I think it's drinking some water right now and the only place we could keep it is my craft room because Callie will probably end up wanting to tear it apart sadly but anyways I don't know I don't even think you guys can hear it but just in case those are those little noises that you hear all right so I'm using some precious stone color bloom spray you can use any black that you would like and adding lots of depth to the project. I end up changing the color a little bit in the end. Um, I did take out a bunch of th the first attempt of coloring it. I used some of the liquid acrylics from Finibear and I just didn't like how it looked and I just kind of kept adding and it, it was a big mess. And the crackle paste kind of started coming off and I did, I forgot to mention that as well. I um, added some crackle paste to the sides of the, uh, the little can here. All right, now I'm taking some gesso and I did let it dry. Um, no, sometimes I don't let it dry before doing this step and it just takes a little longer to get it white. Um, I wanted the embellishments and all of the textures and elements to kind of be highlighted a little bit. So I'm just adding some gesso and it does kind of mix in a little bit with the color, uh, but it just brightens it up a little bit and makes those embellishments stand out a little bit. All right, and most of the metal pieces I forgot to mention are from Mitform Castings. And I will have all of the list, all of the supplies listed down below. Um, so you guys can check it out. So I'm just going to continue to add the gesso here. Uh, while I do that, I did want to mention again that I do have a new workshop. Uh, the first workshop video will be live on October 2nd. Unless you are a channel member, you already have seen it. Um, or I've emailed you and you could see it whenever you would like. Uh, the second project is going to be an altered bottle. I've been getting a lot of questions about that. The third project is going to be a mixed media layout. And then the fourth project is going to be something that you all will vote on. Um, so I think it's pretty fun, um, just a different way to do a, a workshop. All right, so... Uh, let's see, I am now adding some uh, liquid acrylic in burnt sienna, I believe, and I watered it down quite a bit, and I'm just kind of adding it just to places where I think it would be more old looking, I guess, or uh, aged, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And I know it's a little bit hard to see uh, this project, making um, these types of projects, whether it's a bottle or something where you're um, doing like the front of it or there's like multiple sides, it's kind of hard to film. I'm going to try and figure out a different method for doing this. I think I can probably hook up another camera so that you guys can see what I'm doing um, and then kind of have two different uh, looks there. But in the meantime, just bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am going to add that burnt sienna color to the top of the project here. And I am loving how this is looking. I'm glad that I started all over because it was looking like a hot mess before. And um, then I just kind of took it all away. Um, and I didn't, I try to leave some, time, some of that in certain videos and sometimes I, um, leave it for workshops or a channel member video or something like that. So if that's more your speed, definitely consider taking my workshops, uh, especially this one is called Just Start. So we're just kind of diving in to just starting a project, not worrying about how it's going to end up or look in the end and just the different steps and tips um, that I have. Um, that and that what I do to just start a project um, when you're kind of feeling stuck, but you want to, um, uh, you know, make a project and stuff. So I am now kind of just dabbing up some of that color, kind of 
blending it in a little bit. Um, and I do that with a baby wipe. Uh, let's see. And just kind of playing around with the color. Again, just kind of adding here and there and then kind of dabbing it up. All right, to finish this project, I am going back in with some more white gesso and kind of highlighting a lot of those areas. This is um, something different. I did a project like this actually for one of my workshops. It was a bigger project where I kind of did the same thing where I use these almost these same colors and also um, just really laid on the white gesso on top. Um, it was probably, I want to say about a year ago maybe that I did the workshop. Um, but yeah, that's going to complete the project. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. You can also share it on social media with your friends and let me know down in the comments section if you um, have or are interested now in altering a little can, whether it's a cat food can or a tuna can, whatever type of can. Um, and I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Bye.